Veterans Kelly Carlisle and Paul Grieve were looking for their next career after transitioning out of the military. But they wanted a career that they could really get excited about and one that could take advantage of their military experience. Both found what they were looking for in an unusual setting. Miss Kelly, what is this? These are collard greens. Yep, collard greens. And look, we have one red cherry tomato. I don't know that I would trade this for anything. This is how I show my commitment to my, to my country now. Morning, sheep. Anybody hungry? As a Marine, I was passionate about what I was doing. As a farmer, I feel that same passion that I did as a Marine. After a few years of transitioning out of the military, Kelly Carlisle, a single mom to Kaya, found herself jobless in her hometown of East Oakland, California. She couldn't afford daycare, so she started gardening with her daughter. But she also wanted to change the environment where she lived, which was called the fifth most dangerous city in America. It made me upset, you know. There's a lot of bureaucrats and teachers that talk about how we're going to make big changes here. But, you know, in the 20 years since I lived here, it hasn't changed. After his service, Paul Grieve landed in San Diego, where he thought he would reassimilate into the corporate world. He was wrong. It was harder than I thought leaving the Marine Corps, even though I didn't have any extreme uh, combat situations while I was in. Um, just the camaraderie. I, I really missed being around the guys, training outside, constantly working with my hands. Paul wears the same combat boots and belt from his days in Iraq. And right. Kelly wears the Good. same jacket all the time, yeah. showing that she is a veteran. Right. Reminders of their pride and service. Now, Kelly and Paul have found a new mission, in farming. The mission is to continue to serve, continue to envision something better. That something better is acta non verba, Latin for deeds, not words, a nonprofit urban youth farm project to create a safe, creative outdoor space for kids. In learning about healthy lifestyles, kids are empowered by planting and growing their own vegetables and then selling them to the community. She saw a need in her community. She saw a need for people to have access to fresh food. Tia Christopher, also a Navy veteran, is the chief of staff of the Farmer Veteran Coalition, a nonprofit that connects military veterans with opportunities for employment, training, and places to heal on farms with the help of grants, business assistance, and mentoring. So I think one of the things that the military gives you is a real sense of action, is a real sense of you see a problem and you're going to address it. You're not going to wait for someone else to come along. You're like, I can do this. I can fix this. The organization helped Kelly. Give her your dollar so you can get tomatoes. You want tomatoes? Thank you. There you go. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to figure out a way for kids to create a trust for themselves. I see a red tomato. For them to invest in their own future, regardless of what their families are doing and, and what maybe they see every day. I found one. Good this job. One hundred percent of the proceeds go into a savings account for the kids. They're ready right now. When they get to that size, that's the size that we want to harvest. Well, what I think she's bringing to us is hope. You could just come out here, walk around, smell the flowers, pick fruits if you can, and just have fun out here. Kelly calls these children her junior officers. We're going to water our plot. And sees their mission in beautifying the city streets. No, you can't put too much water on one plant. Because yeah, it's going to get damp and then it'll drown it. When I joined the Navy, it was for this sense of being on the side of angels, you know, moving our country forward. The idea is to instill in them values similar to, you know, honor, courage, and commitment uh, learned in the Navy. One, two, three, four. I want each child to know that they have that in them, that, you know, it's not just about the hustle. <laughs> Starting on one acre of land, Paul Grieve and his family bought and raised 54 chickens with hopes of selling them. To their surprise, they sold out in three weeks. The demand was insane here in Southern California. We had no problem selling the 50, so we went up to 100. From 100, we went to 150. From 150 to 200. From that experience, Primal Pastures was born, a family-run organic farm selling pasture poultry. 
now with an army of 1,200 chickens and 100 sheep, raised the way Grieve thinks they should be, outside. And the business is run the way Paul wants it. As a veteran, I learned so much that I wanted to apply into entrepreneurship. So being a business owner and a farmer is such a fun combination. It's such a rewarding career. You may not get paid as much as, say, somebody that's on Wall Street doing consulting, but my pay really comes from being able to spend time with my family, being outside, working with my hands, being able to interact with my customers on a daily basis. As the farm grew, Paul reached out to the Farmer Veteran Coalition and received a grant to buy more land. He also uses the coalition to stay in touch with other veteran farmers through the organization's online connections. So I've been able to connect with some guys doing poultry in North Carolina, raising bees for honey here in Southern California, and just share best practices, what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and it's been an unbelievable resource for us so far. The Farmer Veteran Coalition says there are a thousand veterans now farming across the country and believes farming is a way for veterans to affect their local economies as well as their own well-being. And we find that working with horses, working with cattle, working the land is incredibly healing. Both Paul and Kelly agree. Sometimes you just have to follow your heart. Veterans have options. We have a world of options. You don't have to go into uh, an office job if you don't want to work in an office. You know, try out a few things. Just take a step. Just take any kind of action is better than no action. Just like when you're in combat. Take some kind of action. It's going to be better than doing nothing. And who knows, maybe it'll turn into something great. The Farmer Veteran Coalition refers veterans to VA for health care and other benefits. To explore economic opportunity in food and agriculture, go to farmvetco.org.